can you start talking to me about your your dry hop stuff? Yeah, uh, right now what we're doing in these beers is uh, finishing fermentation. Uh, we'll drop uh, pass through VDK, uh, make sure that the beer is done. Uh, we're not we don't have any diacetyl present. Uh, drop down to 60 degrees overnight and harvest our yeast and then drop down to 50 and then we drop dry hop there. Um, we're dry oh, you're dry hopping all the way down at 50? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Billy Gerds. I love Bill so much. Bill is somewhere did, right now. Did, is, did, is he, did he develop hives? Uh, yeah, I was he, say. He hives. <laughs> yeah, man. Change isn't easy. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. So, uh, but yeah. Okay, so you are you are you're dropping you're you're doing the soft crash right, um, and you're harvest. dropping down to fifty. Okay, so you have dry hops typically uh, pounds per barrel. Uh, dry hop, are you staging it out? Is it all at once? What's happening there? Uh, we we've been all over the place with it. I've done uh, two stage, three stage dry hopping. Um, I might right suggest now. four stage. Um, I mean, I'm just being difficult. Continue. If you really like <laughs> oxygen in your beers that much, I would go four or five. <laughs> go crazy. You know? so, well, where do you settle with most of those now? Uh, as far as... Uh, uh, oh, the number. I, I'm doing just a single charge right now. Um, okay. Single and, charge, 50-degree uh, F beer um, with... Let, let's say the majority of beer out of uh, out of uh, out of the majority of the yeast out of the beer. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And then contact time. Are you rousing, circulating, anything like that? Uh, we don't circulate. We do rouse. Uh, and playing around with these things, uh, we found that three days typically is is where we like the flavor the best. Okay. Um, I, I think you can kind of get into, you can develop some more, you know, dank notes, some, some more onion, garlic kind of green stuff after three days at 50. Um, every bone in my body wants to leave it in there for seven days, uh, and get everything we can out of the, the very large dry hops that we do. Um, sure. it's, uh, yeah, it's cringy when you dump that stuff down the drain. Um, it smells so good. It smells great. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're right around four to six pounds per barrel on dry hop. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty considerable amount of hops, but rouse uh, typically once, once a day uh, for three days. And okay. then, uh, after day three, we'll drop down to, uh, to uh, crash temp 32, 33 degrees and uh, start dumping the cone. Um, what is your, just to jump back real quick uh, for, for people that don't know, what is, what does your rousing process look like? Uh, we go right in through the dump, uh, the bottom valve on the uh, on a fermenter, and just rip uh, CO2 at about 30, 30, 30, 40 psi for about a minute, um, yep. 30 seconds to a minute, just kind of stir everything up in there. Um, usually, uh, we'll take a sample before and after at the uh, sample port there, and if I'm uh, clogging that thing up with bits of hops, I know we've uh, we've really <laughs> roused it well. So sure, sure. Uh, Janish was just saying in something a little bit more recent that I, I think they're I, I think they're pushing their dry hop all the way down to like 33 degrees. Yeah, and they had to get they had to get like new high flow CO2 uh, uh, regulators in because they they're just blasting this massive amount of CO2 through. Right. It. <laughs> and that's well. So yeah, man, there, there's there's still so much to learn about this and. Uh, that's interesting. So, so three days rouse and then, and then get those things off of there. Yeah. Um, and I, I think some of that too can be a uh, variety di driven. Um, definitely with the, uh, the Southern hemisphere hops, I think shorter is better. I think three days max, uh, definitely with like, uh, Nelson or Motueka, uh, Galaxy, especially, um, some of those hops from down there, uh, the Revolution blend, some of the New Zealand stuff, uh, shorter is a little bit better for those. Um, I would be way more comfortable leaving like a 100% citra dry hop at four, five, six days. I don't think you're going to, okay. it's going to wander into uh, anything that you're, you, you're not going to like. Uh, but uh, some of those varieties, you do need to be careful with the uh, contact time. 